right, Beef Burrito. Beef Burrito? I mean, obvious Hulk Hogan tribute is obvious, so why go with this lame name? I'm not even saying you have to go full wordplay like Bulk Blogan, but Beef Burrito? Also, dolls with teeth. Tag up! Tag up! Jeez, how much room do these two need? This bedroom is huge. Oh, you want us to put the hurt on you? I think he wants me to put the hurt on him. I think he wants you to put the hurt on him. You think he wants me to put the hurt on him? Ah, so it's going to be that kind of show, is it? Got it. So I guess we'll just add a few This Goes On For Some Time sins to cover the repeating things over and over shenanigans. On and on and anigans? How would any of those items pop out of the trash can when Rigby takes up the entire circumference? Did you see how awesome it was when I hit the trampoline? If by awesome you mean impossible that the events conspired the way that they were shown, then yeah, it was totally tubular. But it wasn't as awesome as when you punched that hole in the wall. <laughs> I'm not sure which one is Beavis and which one is Butthead yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out by the end of the episode. Dude, we're 23 years old. We shouldn't be busting holes in walls. You didn't seem to care too much about holes in walls when you tacked up that hair metal poster. Ham boning. What? This plot point does not refer to them searching for and finding a Don Draper sex tape. Ham boning will save your life someday. It'll be all like, what? You trying to mug me? <laughs> Look, I'm trying very hard not to get caught up in this ridiculousness, but I've only got so much strength. Don't worry, it won't happen again. We just need to ask him for a raise and just explain all the- No, no, no! That's not gonna work! What are you, 65? No, because then Mordecai would be legal retiring age and not need a raise. Hand bone on that, little nugget Rigby. I know what to do! Maybe use your chest of drawers so you don't have a grime-infested pile of clothing on the floor? Taking a whiz. Also, I get the zipper on a wizard gown thing is probably a joke, but if the show had bothered to do any research, they would know that wizards are notoriously anti-zipper anyway. And the whole reason they even wear the gowns in the first place is because of the mutilated wand incident of 763. Also, also, stealing. Yes, there is reverb and such, but there are clearly two extra notes played on this thing after Discount Rocket stops playing. And yes, I know this is a magical keyboard or whatever, but I've got my limits. This is the answer to all our problems. Which it actually is, but there's no way Mordecai could know that. And if he's willing to go with keyboard tactics, then ham boning is all of a sudden not sounding so stupid. Also, this is a pretty lame magic keyboard. Not only are the keys different sizes, it starts on an A and ends on an F and doesn't even span two octaves. Even the smallest keyboards usually start on a low C, have a middle C, and end on a high C. Have you named her yet? Actually, I thought you could do the honors. I've always wanted to date a girl named The Power. Gendering your objects. You want to own your woman keyboard, Mordecai? You want to date her and make her do whatever you say, you sick cluck? Do ya? Huh? I may need a break from Twitter. Setting aside that the keyboard just magically branded itself, what the hellscape section of the keyboard is this? There are literally two black sharp flat keys over the course of seven white keys. Where are the black keys? Representation matters. Birds with teeth. Is that the sound of music I hear? Not sure, considering you have no ears, Pops. Dude, I think that just worked. I believe you mean this works, but I'll allow it. Also, I think I need a larger sample size than old guy who keeps opened butterscotch suckers in his wallet. But we've only got six minutes left in this episode, so sure. You know, you guys have been working harder. Discount Tom Servo has garden tools in his arms here, but they completely disappear after this. They're not in the front of the golf cart, not in the back of the golf cart, not on the ground. Benson's a legit warlock, y'all. Apparently regular show went to the Scooby-Doo school of gravity-ing things. This CD says 80s metal when it should say 80s metal. The apostrophe stands for the 19. Of course, it could be that it's metal that belongs to the 80s, but then shouldn't the apostrophe be after the S because there were so many years in the 80s? Unless it's music from just 1980. But even so, shouldn't it still have the apostrophe at the front as well? It could be 80s metal or 80s metal or 80s metal, but my point is it should never be 80s metal. You guys shouldn't be doing what you just did. Skips. Don't look at our crotches while we synchronize our watches. Reverse psychology. Also, I'm more curious how they keep synchronizing these random songs they're putting together in the spur of the moment. And now all this talk of crotches has me wondering about Benson's, um, dispenser? Did it really have to be located here? Is this intentional? Is it functional? Does that mean his head is full of Benson seed? Look, it's not my fault the show decided to be vague about genitalia personification. Oh sure, on Earth you float, but on the moon somehow Earth gravity is all in effect and there's plenty of oxygen to breathe. I'm beginning to think the creators of this show don't even care about how the real world works. A bunch of baby ducks, send them to the moon, soda machine that doesn't work. But since Rigby just said he couldn't get Skips back from the moon because he couldn't see him, how is he able to send these things that he also can't see to the moon? Skips doesn't defeat this monster by sticking a bone in its mouth and then dropping a door on its head. Hambony will save your life someday. This book ending is actually clever and funny, and I might have taken a sin away, but then you had to go and basically play the entire scene as if I needed reminding of a callback that took place less than 10 minutes ago, you drill bit. Play it. 
you might think I'm going to rattle off another this works. And while it's true that this indeed does work, I'm more concerned with why take us to the moon took them and the cart to the moon, but take us home took them home and left the cart. I get taking away the keyboard from Rigby and Mordecai, but why would Skips break it? At the very least, sell it to the highest bidder. We have poster. We have no poster. You're threatening to punch me so hard, I'm gonna fly to the moon? Sometimes we get bored with nitpicking movies to death. Yo, Chris, answer your damn phone. I have some to say to you about this Pete's Dragon bullshit you made me watch. Stop screening my calls. There's so much other sin in the world. So, a few years ago, we decided to point the old sin counter at those delightful nuggets of pop artistry music videos. F*** off. What? What? That's right. For all of your pop star mockery needs, we have music video sins. The format is just what you get in Cinema Sins, but on this channel, you get to see the moral sins of accomplished musicians like Jake Paul, Ariana Grande, Miley Cyrus, DJ Khaled, and Cardi B. And while you're there, scroll through our back catalog for choice bits from Taylor Swift, Jason Derulo, Megan Trainer, Camila Cabello, and much more. Subscribe today for more laughs than you can handle. Check out Music Video Sins now. That's what I want you to do! <laughs> But it wasn't as awesome as when you punched that hole in the wall. Look, just come check it out. I'm a cat. Now, check me out. Is that the sound of music I hear? It's singing. Yes, I realize it's singing, but who is singing? At least we can test it out on him, and he won't get mad at us if it doesn't work. That doesn't make sense. Brother.